Hello everyone, it's Dan here from Thomas Rory Support. In this video, we're going to continue with our custom block tutorial, just going through the custom blocks available within Jumpstart for WordPress. So, we're going to go back into our test page we set up in the previous video. And if you recall, we got as far as the Hero Header CTA block, so we're going to continue on with the Hero Half Slider. So, we're going to drop this into a section, and as we've done before, we're going to make this section full width and remove the columns and under the advanced tab let's get rid of the padding as well okay so to start with we're going to add some upper and lower content to the slider uh, what this means will become apparent I'm just going to grab some text There you can see there we've got two sections so you can either put everything into one if you wish or if you want to have a bit of a neat gap between them and say have text below and maybe a form or buttons etc there and then that's perfectly doable for instance let's create a link actually just create a link like we would normally I'll just put it off link into hash and then under formats here while the button is or the link is highlighted we can select the button style there okay now we're going to add some slides which will explain why this is called the hero half slider let's add some images I'm just going to pick some at random really Maybe one more. Okay, and you can see what that means here. We've got our text area on the left, and we've got our slide ready to go. Very effective and very simple, as you can see. Right, moving on, let's head over to the icon and text block now for this one I'm going to create a few columns which we've got here and I'm going to pop in one to begin with now I've got a few layouts here to choose so I'll just select the top one to start with I'll pop in any old random icon we'll give it a color and we'll just paste in some text now if I clone this over you can see if I choose a different layout how this works you can go to the medium side icon which has this layout you can have a slightly different layout there you can have the layout to the uh, sorry the icon to the top various ways as well and you can even have a rounded background round icon typical kind of service icon here Moving on, we'll go for the image carousel next, so let's drop that in. We've got a couple of styles to choose from here, but before we go through them, I'm just going to add some images again. Not being particularly selective, obviously you may want to choose something a bit more coherent. Just going to add, say, five items for now. I think that'll be fine. Um, this one. Okay, so let's update the page and we'll take a look. Scroll past what we've done so far. Now, here you can see our slider here. It looks really good as it is in the container, but another alternative option you could do is to go to your section settings and have it completely full width as well just like you see here so if you look again you can see it stretches right the way out a really neat effect now looking at the other layouts we can have the same thing but without bullets or we can even go for a single item now this looks a bit strange because it's a full width section you wouldn't typically use the carousel like that so let's pop this back to be 
regular width. I'll maybe pop in another column or two there as well. Just a general example of how best to use this. And there you go. Absolutely perfect. Next step, we'll move on to the image with divider. Now, <clears throat> this might not make a lot of sense on its own, but I'll show you it in full so you can see what I mean. Now, this will work best in a column, but to start with, let me just pop it in on its own. I'm just going to give it an image. Okay. Now, now we've got all that filled in, we've got our layout selected. Let's see what this actually means. So we've got the image there as the background. You can see we've got a divider there on the left, as we've chosen, or you can have it on the right. And we've told the divider to be the primary background. We can have it dark, white, and so on. Now, it looks a bit strange on its own, because the idea of this is to go next to another piece of content. So to give you a complete example of that, let's get the section ready by removing the padding. And back here, we'll make it full width and uh, remove any gaps from the columns. And let's slide another column in the column next to it. Now, as you can see, we've got a nice area here which will drop in some text. Just being quite general here. Now, obviously, that text is aligned to the top, which might look a bit strange, or you might be aiming for that. But let's say you wanted that to be halfway down, not a problem. Edit your section. And you can see here, the vertical line, you can pop it into the middle and everything will fall into place. Couldn't really be any simpler. So let's just pop in a bit more text here. Pop in a title above, just something a bit more typical. And now the key part. Now what we could do in the image with divider block is we can set the divider to be white, which is perfect. As you can see, it looks really, really good. But let's say we went back to the dark background we've chosen there. If we want the whole area behind it to be dark, then we can simply go to the section settings and under advanced we we'll type in BG dark. There are other um, classes you can put in, which if you refer to the documentation, they're all listed there. But yeah, as you can see, that's worked really well. But as you can see, our title, our text, etc. here, is maybe a little bit difficult to see. So we've got a couple of things we can do. The main one would be to go to the CSS area, sorry, class area for the text editor block, and we can just type in text white. And there you go. It will just appear. And again, there are a few other classes you can use if you refer to the documentation. Or you can go to style and control the text color from there, of course. OK, on to the next block. We'll put image over image. Now, uh, this might not make an awful lot of sense to begin with, but we'll fill it in and you can see exactly what this means. So let's drop it in and let's pop our image in. Now, what this means is you'll have one image, say the main image, Hmm, let me pick one here. Yeah, we'll go for this one here. And then you'll have another image which appears over it. Now, for best results, choose a smaller image. I'm just going to go for, say, this avatar here. And there you go. You can see exactly what that means. So, you could have, say, a section of the main image that you want to perhaps zoom in on then you can pop that in there. I think you generally get the idea. Of course you can choose to have the overlay image on the left or right as well. Next up for this one we've got the inner decorations. Now this one is pretty cool and um, you'll see some blobs, <laughs> for lack of a better word, uh, have dotted around the demo and you may be wondering how they're added there. 
Well, we'll show you right now. Let's uh, throw some random text in, which, as you can tell, I love to do. And um, what we can do now is if we go to the inner section block and drop one in, sorry, inner decoration block, we can start adding blobs around the place. Now this may look a little strange in the editor itself, well, I do apologise. But what you'll notice is once the page is updated, when you take a look, these will position as such. Again, you may want to make the text white for it to appear a bit better, but just for the sake of this demonstration, you can see how that works there. And of course, I've just used text, that's totally up to you. You could, for example, drop a nice image in there instead. I'll use just this phone picture here, which will look pretty good. That's a bit too small, I think. Okay. Now if we update the page and see the result, you can see that's overlaid over the blob. Now I think that's enough for this particular video. We've managed another six blocks. We'll go through and continue the rest in the next video. I hope this has been useful. If you do have any questions, do see me over at support. Thanks for watching.